Next with us, and also we have Hi. And I'm Linda. And we went blackberry picking earlier and got three quarts of three gallon. Three gallons of blackberries. And I was interested in learning how to make some blackberry jelly. So who do I turn to? Linda. Because yeah. she knows how to do it. She's gonna help us out today. This is a three-generation project. Make sure you, Carly. Make sure you do what? Um, subscribe. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And give us a comment if you want the recipe. We might give it to you if you watch the video. It is yeah. kind of a secret because we are combining the old-fashioned recipe and some new ways of doing it that make it easier. So it's sort of a jelly and a jam combo. Makes it easier and you have a very delicious end product. So, are we ready? Yep. All right, let's get started. We have all of our ingredients here. Shall we explain them? I need a Okay. So we start with putting our berries into, this is actually a Nutribullet, and we're going to let the Nutribullet do its job and completely emulsify the berries and the seeds, and then we'll cook them. We won't have to worry about um, getting the seeds to come out through a sieve like our grandmother did. And this is what it looks like when we start. We put just a little bit of water in the bottom to keep it from overheating. This is how it looks after we've blended it and put it in the pan and before we start cooking it. Okay, to make jelly, there are certain things that you really need to have prepared. You need to have sterilized jars and lids. And we've got that prepared. Carly took my jar lifter, which we really should have a jar lifter, but we don't know where that is right now. It's packed. But we wash them in the dishwasher and then we put them in boiling water. So we know our jars are sterile and we're actually going to set them over here on a towel and they're very, very hot. So we're going to set, we have the jars and then at the bottom of the pan we have lids that are flats and rings. So that's one thing that we have as an ingredient, that, a component of our processing. We have to have a very large pot to cook the jelly in. We need 10 cups of product, which today is blackberries, minus one. And we have, and it's important that you use the right amount of sugar because this is actually part of the gelling process. So for 10 cups of berries, we actually use six and a half cups of white sugar. That's a lot. Yes, it is, but it helps to gel. And then we use a pectin. You, there are several brands. We prefer Sure Gel. And we can put a link to that in the bottom. And that way you can make sure you get the right thing. And we'll put a link in there to the proper um, jar lifter because that's really handy to have. This is part of the kit that we can still find that you use to pour into the, into the jars. As you can see, it fits perfectly into here so that you don't make a mess. And, but this Sure Gel Pectin helps to the gel, to the jelly to gel fast. In the old days, they didn't have pectin and they just had to cook it for a long time until they, the jelly made actually what they call a string and then it would gel. This makes our life a lot easier. It's pectin. So then you use a little bit of butter. We're not going to use the whole stick. Don't go crazy on the fat issue. You're only going to use one teaspoon. So it's just a very small pound, amount. And all that does, it keeps the whole thing from making a big foam. If you've ever seen jelly that is homemade, sometimes it has a foam on top. If you just put a little bit of butter in your mixture, you won't have that foam. So that helps out. And then this is what one of our modern things that we use nowadays that makes life a lot easier. It's a Nutribullet or some sort of product that grinds your berries up 
so that you don't have to do it the old-fashioned way. In the old-fashioned days, you had to cook the berries until they were juicy and they were full of seeds. And then you had to take something like this, which was a cone, and you had to take a... What did we do with it? You had to take a, a wooden pestle like this, and you had to pour your berries with their seeds into here over a pan and work and work and work and work and work and work for an hour to get your juice to come through and the seeds to come inside, stay inside. We're not going to do that. We're going to skip that and we're just going to make our whole fruit into a nice product in here that will be pretty much seed free because this spins at such a high rate with a wonderful blade that we can just cook that down and not worry about the seeds. So those are the products that we need to make our, je our jelly slash jam and we will get started as We will get started here in just a moment. Go. Okay, we said, so we have all of our blueberries, or blackberries, I'm sorry, in the pan, all of the juice is in here, and we've got the burner on, and we're going to bring it to a boil. At the same time, we're going to add our pectin. Now, when you open your Sure Gel pectin, you'll notice that there is a set of instructions in here. So, if you've never made jelly or jam before, it has a list of instructions for how to make all different kinds of jelly. It'll tell you not just blackberry, but you know, blueberry, cherry, apple, any kind you want if you just follow the instructions. That's one of the really cool things about the Sure Gel pectin. So we are going to go ahead and add our Sure Gel pectin to the blackberry juice that we're now bringing to a boil. And we're going to let that all come to a boil together. And this is also where we're going to do the little trick that I don't think very many people do or know about where you can cut down on the foaming by adding just a touch of butter. Marjorie won't do it for you. You have to do real butter. And it doesn't take much. Your butter has measurements on it. You only need about a teaspoon. These are measured in tablespoons. A teaspoon is about a third of a tablespoon. So I usually just cut it about in half of a tablespoon. Just cut it off and then just drop it in there. And hopefully you've washed your hands before you start it. There it goes. No foam in our jelly. And then we're going to let this thing come to a full boil and we're going to let it boil longer than the instructions say. The reason why is because after many years of making jelly, I find that if you let it boil for the one minute that the instructions say, your jelly is very, very loose. It doesn't get very firm. And if you let it boil, a little longer, two minutes, three minutes, depending on how firm you like your jelly. In our family, we like it really firm. We let it boil about five minutes with the pectin. It gets really firm. So we're going to stir it up and let it come to a full boil, boil about five minutes, and then we'll add the sugar. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll be here for a few minutes. Okay, so we've been stirring and cooking our juice, pectin, and butter for about 10 minutes. It's now at a full boil. We're going to let it boil and stir for about four or five minutes to make sure we get a really solid, firm jelly. And then after that four or five minutes, we're going to add our sugar, bring it back to a boil. So that's where we are now. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, 
So we're ready to add the sugar, and we're going to have some help from... Carly's going to help pour the sugar. Okay, here we go. All of it goes in. That's a lot of sweetness, just like Carly's sweet. Yeah, I want, I want to. I want to you want to help stir? Okay, we're going to stir it in. Once we get this stirred in, we're going to let it come back to a full boil where it's boiling all over and we're going to let it boil for another minute. And then we'll be ready to put it in the jars. Okay, our jelly is finished and we're ready to put it in our jars. I want to take some home. So what we're going to do I take some home. is we're going to take our jars that are hot yeah. and we're going to use... Yeah, I want to you most certainly can take some help. No, so, I want to help you. I do miss you. It's very hot, but you can come up here and watch. No, I want to do it for you. Okay, come on. You can help with some parts of it. We put, put, we put a little funnel that fits right into the jar, oh. and we take the jelly and we pour it in. Just like that. Is it all hot? It's very, very hot. The jar is hot. Spoon is hot. And the spoon is hot. And then you don't want to fill it all the way to the top. You want to give it about a quarter of an inch. Can I put it in? What can I do? I'll show you in just a minute. You want to put it in about a, give it about a quarter of an inch of head space. So, Carly, this is going to be your part. We have to wipe the top off to make sure it's very clean and doesn't have anything so it won't seal. Take the rag, wipe the top off. Very good. Now we have to put a brand new flat on here. Can you put the flat on here? Right there, all the way around. And then we put, a, I told you it was hot. See, you have to be careful. Now we put this on here. I think I will do that so you won't burn yourself, okay? okay. And you want to put it on just to finger tight. And then that we're going to sit over here. And when this seals, you can tell because the middle of it will pop it down. It's got a little raised area at the top and it will pop down. You do that to all your jars and you've got jelly. And you can put them in your cabinet and they will keep and you can open jelly. Whenever it's after you've opened it, be sure to keep it in the refrigerator because it has no preservatives and it will go bad quickly if you leave it sitting out. And I always like to put with like a Sharpie the, yes, baby? Don't touch it. It's hot. I always like to put where we got the berries, like Ridge Runner Farm. Yes? I put some berry on that spoon. Okay. Let me, let me finish, baby. I put Ridge Runner Farm blackberries. The date, which will be like July of 2000. Be careful, baby. 2018. And then I'll even put our initials, like Carly Branscombe, CB, and Elizabeth Branscombe, and Linda Tollison. Put that all on there, and then we know where the berries came from and when we canned them, and we always know when we take them out of the, out of the cabinet, and then we put them in the refrigerator. Some people make labels and put them on here, but we have really decorative, pretty jars, and there's not really a place for the, for the labels. So there you have it. Our jelly from Ridge Runner Farm. Blackberry jelly, and it's going to be quite yummy. Thanks for watching, and God bless. Okay, so here's the good part. You get to taste the spoils of your work. So it's not completely gelled. There's always a little bit left over in the bottom of the pan. You put it in a jar, take it, and spread it on some bread, and... Mmm! Mmm! So out of... Ten cups of berries, we got ten jars of very yummy jelly. This is still warm, but oh my, is it good. Try it. <laughs> Goodbye and God bless. God bless.